lots of things going on, uh, in, in, you know, uh, surrounding the uh, elections and uh, surrounding what's going on in the United States. And the first thing I want to talk about is uh, Mr. Weiner, uh, who apparently likes to show his wiener. <laughs> it's ironic that he's called Weiner. Yeah. And uh, here's a gentleman that was a congressman, got himself in trouble uh, for, uh, you know, send, sending pictures of himself that uh, are lewd and lascivious, and, and, and uh, you know, it's nothing illegal, but uh, it was uh, very disrespectful to his wife and uh, disrespectful to his office, so he resigned as congressman. Then he ran for mayor. And again, I don't know, there is, it must be a, a, a manic thing for this guy. He likes taking pictures of himself. Yeah, especially with his four-year-old boy sitting right now, beside this is, him. Let's, this is now. I'm talking about when he was running for mayor. I'm talking about but, now. He just posted. Uh, yeah, but let's, let me finish the one for mayor. So when he was running for mayor, he had, a good, he had a good chance at winning, a really good chance at winning. And again, he got caught in another scandal uh, showing his wiener. Now, we come to, you know, his wife has been a, a long-standing ally of uh, Hillary Clinton for over 20 years. She's one of the most trusted advisors she has. Uh, she had been going through some very, I, know, I guess, traumatic stuff with her husband and uh, this, this craziness that this man does, so I think she had enough. She tried to uh, survive this election so she wouldn't make it, uh, you know, something that would be... Uh, embarrassing for uh, the Clinton campaign, but she couldn't handle it anymore when the latest one came out where he, you know, he's sexting, which I, I don't know what the fuck that is, and uh, with no shirt, and he's got his son in the picture, which is a little uh, weird and a little creepy, if you ask me. So she, she, uh, she finally had enough of them and dumped them. Now, the, 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 the Trump campaign jumped on it, especially Mr. Trump saying that, that uh, somehow Hillary... Uh, <laughs> He, he associated Hillary uh, because these people are involved with her that uh, they would uh, compromise the security of uh, the American people in uh, the United States, which is fucking crazy. I mean, he's backpedaling now because, uh, you know, I really don't think it helps him with the woman vote by attacking a lady who, uh, you know, and a family being, you know, broken apart by this obsession that he has of sending naked pictures of himself to uh, whoever. Or, or he, it's a club, isn't it? Or it's a, some app? That he, sen he sends the pictures off to this woman, and I guess the woman put it out there for public purview. Would that be the right way to say it? Yeah. So it, it, these things just don't get out there on their own. You're dealing with a woman, and uh, her intentions obviously weren't honorable enough to just keep it between the two of them. And but but the here's, my, here's my question to Bobby Waters. Sure. The guy knows. The guy knows that he, he you know, he's he is a hot potato, and his wife is, uh, you know, in the presidential campaign. Why the fuck would he do something like this? Well, I think there's a lot of lessons you have to number one understand that when you are in the public eye, you got to avoid doing anything that could. Uh, be put out there in social media, whether it's Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Obviously, he messed up. He didn't realize it. And number two, I mean, Trump's going to take advantage of the fact that when you are in a position of power, you have to be careful who you associate yourself with. If you find out that one of the people you're going up against has someone that they're associated with with skeletons in the closet, you absolutely exploit that. And I think that that's... But, I, but I, think he's, he, I think it backfired on him. I think him exploiting this situation backfired him. In fact, a lot of his... Uh, you know, uh, surrogates and, and high-ranking supporters uh, have uh, disagreed with him on this topic that this should be off-limits. Uh, you know, this, this woman, uh, go, you know, and this breakup of a family should ne not be part of the political uh, mud. I, I think what else we've seen, Frank, nothing is off-limits in, uh, in this campaign. Nothing at all. Well, for me, the most bizarre part of this campaign is not just Mr. Weiner. Uh, and it's ironic that his name is Mr. Weiner, and he likes showing his wiener, uh, is, is Rudy Giuliani. He sounds almost psychotic. And this, this, he's, he's obsessed with uh, Hillary. Like, he's one-dimensional. He hasn't switched gears. He's in the gear that Hillary Clinton is sick, has a medical condition, and is unfit 
to become president if she becomes president of the United States. It's you know I I I, you know, I understand that that's what they do and they throw shit out there and try to make it stick to a wall, but it, it hasn't stopped. And in fact, I think that if they would have stopped it, it would have been better off for uh, for um, Mr. Trump because now Mr. Trump is ridiculed with his medical uh, one paragraph that he got from his uh, doctor who who now said, you know, I really, you know, didn't write it. Like, you know, almost sounded like Clinton. Uh, I, uh, Bill Clinton, when he said, uh, you know, I tried it, I really didn't like it, I really didn't heal it. So he's basically trying to distance himself from that one paragraph, which sounds exactly like something Donald Trump would have written. He wrote, uh, Donald Trump is in the best physical shape of any president in the history of the United States. And did you see the picture? They, they put a picture up, Frank and, uh, and, and gentlemen, of Donald Trump, Golfing, and he's just huge. He's got a, like a great big, huge butt on him. And they showed a picture of, of of President Obama, who's playing basketball. If he's in better shape than Obama, I want to see this doctor right away. Yeah, there's there's absolutely no chance Trump's in better shape than Obama when you look at the two of them.